What's up, San Antonio? I'm here to tell you the five biggest myths about your kidneys. What's up, San Antonio? I'm Dr. Kasim Butt, and I'm a kidney doctor. And in my practice, I encounter so many misunderstandings about the kidney, from things people read on the internet to home remedies. The point of this channel is to not only raise your understanding of kidneys, but overall health in general. So let's go ahead and start. Here are the five biggest myths about your kidneys. Myth number one, you need to drink eight eight ounce glasses of water a day. Now generally, drinking a lot of water is a good thing, but think about it, a five foot old female requires less water than say a six foot two male. Also, a lot of the water we take in is not necessarily in the form of water. It can come in the form of food. In fact, 20 to 30% of the fluid intake we take in every day comes from our food. If you think about fruits and vegetables, they're full of water. So how do you know if you're well hydrated? The easiest way to tell is to actually look at your urine. If it's clear or light yellow, that tells you you are well hydrated. Now if it's dark or dark yellow, that means you're dehydrated so you need to drink more water. But in general, I'll tell you, drink more water. Myth number two, cranberry juice is good for your kidneys. Now before you go off on a doctor being against a natural remedy, that's not the case at all. In fact, I believe that true health is only achieved through proper diet and exercise. In fact, I eat fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. Now, as far as cranberries, it was once thought that cranberries could actually prevent certain types of urinary tract infections that occur in the bladder. But the evidence for that is really inconclusive. Now, cranberries overall are very good for you. They're packed with vitamin E, vitamin C, antioxidants, and fiber. The problem is, once you consume it in juice form, you get rid of the fiber component. Therefore, you're left with a lot of sugar. Not to mention a lot of the sugar that they add on to make it taste better. Cranberry juice can have up to 36 grams of sugar in an eight ounce serving, which is the equivalent of a Coke. So my advice, definitely incorporate fresh cranberries into your diet, but avoid the juice. Myth number three, my kidneys hurt. This is one of the biggest complaints that I encounter. In fact, I've had people self-refer themselves to me for kidney pain. Now, typically, kidney disease does not hurt. But to be honest, there are three conditions where the kidneys can actually hurt. The first condition that can hurt is uh, kidney stones. And that's kind of uh, a common complaint that a lot of primary cares get. So what happens in this scenario is that uh, there's a stone that forms in the kidney and it slowly makes its way down into the bladder. The pain can oftentimes be very severe. It's in the back and actually is referred to the front. The other condition that can hurt is something called pyelonephritis. It's actually a severe infection in the kidneys. It's very, uh, very much rarer than, say, a urinary tract infection that we get in our bladders. And the last condition that can cause pain is something called polycystic kidney disease. It's an inherited genetic disorder um, where these cysts are formed in the kidney. And these cysts over time get bigger and bigger and bigger, thereby causing pain in the, in, in the kidney and in the back. Now, outside of these three conditions, the kidney disease that I deal with typically is from diabetes and high blood pressure that leads to dialysis, they typically do not cause pain. Chances are, if you feel pain in your back, it's likely musculoskeletal, meaning muscle and bone, good old fashioned back pain. Myth number four. Over-the-counter medications can hurt my kidneys. Now, over-the-counter medications that you get at your local pharmacy are typically safe, but some, if taken excessively, can cause kidney injury. Those in particular are called NSAIDs, non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs. These include drugs like ibuprofen, aspirin, naproxen. Now, don't get me wrong. These medications are generally safe. And in fact, if I have a headache or back pain or something like that, I, I reach for them myself as well. But the problem is if you take them in large doses and or for long periods of time, they can actually induce kidney injury. If you have kidney disease, we generally recommend you do not take any NSAIDs on a regular basis. Those of you who have kidney disease, we generally recommend the only pain medication over the counter that you can take is acetaminophen. Myth number five, I can't have kidney disease, I feel fine. This is another issue I deal with on a regular basis, denial. Think about it this way, 
By the time you have chest pain, you're already having a heart attack. So do you really want to wait to the last moment until you start feeling it to actually see a doctor? In regards to your kidneys, we're already born with excess capacity. You're born with two kidneys, but you can actually function with just one. So think about it this way, where you're born with 100% kidney function, by the time you can actually feel it, your kidney function is actually around 30%. That's where you start feeling symptoms. But you don't want to go to the doctor by then because not much can actually be done for you. So what would I advise you to do? I would advise you to see your primary care doctor on a regular basis. Even if you're regularly healthy, you should at least go once a year for an annual exam like I do. Your doctor will check your blood for something called creatinine. That creatinine will be used to calculate your kidney function. Next time you visit your primary care doctor, ask him what's my creatinine and how are my kidneys doing? Well, those are the five biggest myths I encounter in my practice about the kidneys. If you like what I said or want to say something about it, leave comments in the comment section below. I'm going to ask you to do three favors for me. One is if you liked it, share this video, like my Facebook page, and please, if you can, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember, it's your kidneys, your health.